All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, say, O Prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions as will his messenger and the believers. And then you will be returned to him who knows what is seen and unseen, and he will tell you what you have been doing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that our master, Prophet Muhammad, is his valerie and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. It never happened that a nation was built by speech and slogans. Rather, nations are built by knowledge, work, and sacrifices. At the top of the means of building nations is the serious and dedica dedicated work. As the Almighty Allah says, say, O Prophet, take action. God will see your actions as well his messenger and the believers and then you will be returned to him who knows what's seen and unseen and he will tell you what you have been doing the prophet peace be upon him also said Allah likes when someone performs an action to perfect it both religiousness and patriotism require us to work hard and exert serious efforts for increasing productivity our religion is the religion of earnest endeavor and perfection if the individual is the key element to building a society, his, re his real mission will not be complete except through cooperation with the whole society. A person alone cannot accomplish some work, but with cooperation with his fellows, the output will be much greater and more effective. This is why Islam has praised collective work and identified it as a key foundation for establishment of nations and civilizations. Collective work requires us to make use of our energies to achieve the common interest of the whole society. The Almighty Allah says, help one another to do what is right and good and do not help one another towards sin and hostility. When we contemplate the Quran, we find that there are many verses calling for collective work. For example, calling people to worship Him. The Almighty Allah says, O people, worship your Lord who created you and those before you, so that you may be mindful of him. Also, with regard to prayer, the most important pillar of Islam, Allah says, <clears throat> and perform prayer with the plural form of the verb perform. Also, Allah says, O believers, bow down, prostrate yourselves, worship your Lord, and do good so that you may succeed. Allah the Exalted also says, Hold fast to God's rope all together. In addition, Allah has warned us against disunity, saying, Obey Allah and His Messenger, and do not quarrel with one another, or you may lose heart and your spirit may desert you. Be steadfast, God is with the steadfast. There is no doubt that performing acts with such spirit of collective work will increase fraternity and strengthen the relations among individuals of the same society. And in such a way, they come to, to put into effect Allah saying, this community of yours is one single community. This is a manifestation of the saying of the Prophet, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When one limb suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. When a wise man wanted to teach his sons the importance of unity and that it is the cause of his strength and to warn them against disunity, which is the cause of weakness, he brought a bundle of sticks and asked them, who can break this bundle? They tried but failed. Then he asked them to unite them and gave each one a stick and they were able to break them easily. The man said, when united, sticks are too hard to break, but when separated, they can be broken by anyone. The glorious Quran gave us many examples that encourage collective work and show its impact on achieving the great goals. Here is the example of the Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, when Allah ordered him to build the Kaaba. Ibrahim said to his son Ismail, O oh, Ismail, Allah has given me an order. Ismail said, do what your Lord has commanded you to do. Ibrahim asked, Will you help me? Ismail said, I will help you. Ibrahim said, Allah has ordered me to build a house of worship here. 
Then they raised the foundation of the house, that's the Kaaba. Ismail brought the stones and Ibrahim was building the house. The Quran reported this story saying, as Ibrahim and Ismail built up the foundations of the house, they prayed, our Lord, accept this from us. You are the all hearing, the all knowing. In Surah Al-Kahf, the Almighty Allah tells us about the just king, Dhul Qarnayn. When he passed by a group of strangers, they asked him for his help, and he responded positively on the condition that they cooperate with him. They worked together till they built a huge construction that protected them from Gog and Magog. Allah says, then when he reached a place between the two mountain barriers, he found beside them a people who could barely understand him. They said, O oh, Dhul Qarnayn, Gog and Magog are ruining this land. Will you build a barrier between them and us if, you, if, if we pay you a tribute? He answered, the power my Lord has given me is better than any tribute. But if you lend me your strength, I will put up a fortification between you and them. Bring me the lumps of iron. And then, when he had filled the gap between the two mountain sides, he said, Work your billows. And then, when he had made it glow like fire, he said, Bring me molten metal to pour it over it. Their enemies could not scale the barrier, nor could they pierce it. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, asked Allah Most High to aid him with his brother Aaron, so that he would be so, uh, so that he would help him with performing the mission assigned to him by Allah the Ever Exalted. Referring to this fact, Allah the Almighty says, Moses said, and appoint for me a supporter from my family, Aaron, my brother. Increase through, through him my strength and let him share my task. Also, he who carefully examines the biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him, will find out that the life of the Prophet saw brilliant instances of cooperation, participation, and collective work between him and his companions. In this regard, Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, said, We have accompanied the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in his journeys and at home. And he used to support us with the little and the much. The Prophet, peace be upon him, furthermore used to help them in work and construction. About the battle of Al-Khandaq, that's the trench, Al-Bara ibn Adh, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, carrying dust with us on the day of the battle of Al-Ahzab, and the dust was covering the whiteness of his abdomen. And when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was saying, O oh Allah, without you, we would not have been guided, nor would we have been given in charity, nor would we have prayed. So Allah, please send tranquility upon us as the enemies have rebelled against us. Also, <clears throat> when Salman al-Farisi, may Allah be pleased with him, wanted to plant 300 palm trees to free himself from slavery, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said to the companions, help your brother. Salman said, they helped me with palm trees. The man would bring 30 palm trees, another would bring 20, a third would bring 15, and the others brought according to their ability, until I collected the 300 palm trees. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered me to dig for them, and said, when you finish, come to me, so that I would plant them by myself. Salman continued, I dug for them and my companions aided me. When we have finished, I went to the Prophet and told him. He came along with me and we started to set the trees for him and he planted them with his own hand. In this connection, the Prophet praised Al-Ash'ariyin for their spirit of, of collective work even in the most difficult situations. The Prophet said about them, when the people of Al-Ash'ari tribe ran short of food during the holy battles or the food of their families in Medina ran short, they would collect all their remaining, remaining food in one sheet and then distribute it among themselves equally by measuring it with a bowl. So these people are from me and I am from them.
With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. I bear witness that there is no God deserving to be worshipped by Allah, and I bear witness that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his votary and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, companions, and whoever follows their guidance till the day of judgment. Muslim brothers, collective work that we are aspiring to is that one that builds, not destroys, and that gathers, not divides. It is that work that's based on legal foundations like solidarity between the members of the society in a way that won't make us see any hungry or needy person in the society. It is that work that's based on enlightened cooperation with each other in their scientific research or cooperation in academic and scholarly environments. It is that kind of work that's based on national foundations like working for achieving the progress of the country in all fields. It is not that kind of work that's based on destructive calls for bloodshed and destruction of countries and attempts to weaken them or make them collapse. These calls that are based on defamation, forging the truth and lying, and that don't uh, take religion or homeland or conscience into consideration. The collective work we are aspiring to is the constructive work that's for the benefit of religion, country, and humanity. These integrated items that cannot dispense with one another. We are actually in a dire need to entrench this spirit into the minds of our children and to turn it into a way of life according to which they should act, so that love and harmony would prevail among the members of the one society and our nation would achieve the highest ranks on all levels. We affirm meanwhile that when the spirit of collective work prevail, prevails among the Egyptians, they could turn what others view as impossible into reality. O oh Allah, make us secure in our countries, guide our rulers to the right path, and protect our country from the treachery of the treacherous and the corruption of the corrupt.